Welcome to another episode of the Liberty Tides podcast, where we explore big ideas through a libertarian lens. I'm your host, Jax, and today we're diving into a hot topic, mental health. Joining us is Fina Bonoan, candidate for U.S. Senate in Florida. Fina, great to have you here. Thanks, Jax. It's a pleasure to be here to discuss such an important issue. The libertarian stance on mental health. Fina, when we talk about mental health, what's the libertarian approach? Jax, libertarians believe in maximizing individual freedom and minimizing government control. When it comes to mental health, this means advocating for more personal choice in treatment options and reducing government barriers. People should have the freedom to choose the health care that best suits their needs without excessive regulation. That's a strong point. So how would you address the mental health crisis differently from current policies? Current policies often limit access to only certain types of treatments and sometimes involve too much bureaucracy. A libertarian approach would encourage innovation in mental health care by allowing more types of therapies and treatments to become available. This would also include support for mental health initiatives driven by community organizations and private sectors rather than government mandates. Breaking down barriers. There's a lot of talk about barriers to mental health care. What barriers exist now that you would want to remove? A major barrier is the lack of competition in health care, which drives up costs and limits options. By removing unnecessary regulations that prevent new solutions and technologies, we can make mental health care more accessible and affordable. Also, respecting privacy rights is crucial. People should feel secure that their mental health data is protected from government surveillance. It sounds like you're pushing for a system that respects individual choices and privacy. How do you think that will resonate with the people of Florida? I believe Floridians value their freedom and privacy. By ensuring they have more control over their health care decisions, including mental health, we respect and uphold these values. It's about empowering people, not restricting them. As we wrap up, any final thoughts you'd like to share with our listeners, especially those in Florida? Absolutely, Jax. Mental health is a critical issue that touches many lives. We need solutions that respect individual freedom and promote responsibility. I encourage everyone listening to support our campaign, not just with your vote, but by volunteering and spreading the word. Together, we can bring change to Florida and champion a system that truly serves the people. And if our listeners want to learn more or donate to your campaign, where should they go? They can visit our website at finaforest.com. Donations, every bit of support counts. Thank you, Fina, for joining us today. And to our listeners, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more discussions like this. This is Jack signing off from Liberty Tides. Stay informed, stay free.